Hello everybody and welcome back to the Creature Flesh Workshop. In fact, the new Creature Flesh Workshop. Yes, we have moved, we've got more space now, we've got more scope to what we can do, better lighting, everything's better, it's very exciting. But we have got a lot of work to do setting this place up so we can carry on with our Dragir silicone monster mask. Now I've got a few things that I wanna set up around the shop. Um, we are gonna have a nice little airbrush station here that's dedicated just to airbrushing all of our silicone painting that kind of thing around here we're gonna have a load of shelves we're gonna have a workspace that we can uh, sculpt um, it's gonna be really good so i think really what we need to do is get on with getting this place set up so we can carry on with all our projects so let's do it bench here that we're going to be mainly using for sculpting so I can actually sit there um, and I'm going to be sitting there for long periods of time so it's going to be a normal kind of size table nice height but this one over here the room we've got two we can see this one is actually kind of waist height so this is when we've got things standing up on here they're going to be kind of almost eye level especially with our masks uh, like this so uh, we've got it this height because it's, it's just a nicer way of standing and painting um, it just feels a little bit nicer, you're not kind of hunched over. Um, so when we're painting, we're going to be doing all of that up on here. This isn't quite finished though. We need to build a little box, if you like. It's going to have some walls here, so it's actually a little paint station. Uh, we're going to have a little Lazy Susan in the middle here, so we can spin our piece around. Um, and we're going to probably put a little extractor fan there as well. Um, and that's going to hopefully get rid of some of the uh, excess paint and that's what the walls are there for as well is to stop paint from just covering the whole shop um, so that's what we're going to do next so let's get on with it Exciting. 
So if you haven't already checked it out, please check out part one, part two, and part three of the silicone mask build. And then join me next time for part four of getting on with this silicone mask. See if we get it to the next stage, which is going to be the molding stage. That is very exciting indeed. So again, thank you for joining me and we will see you on the next one.